Have you heard of Sweet Baby Inc.? Yes, I have. The ruin of everything. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so are, are you caught up and are are you aware of what what's been going on on Twitter or X? No, honestly, I, I I know that basically somebody started a group where they on Steam where they're basically listing all the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has tainted. Yes, uh, but I'm not aware of what's going on in Twitter. I mean, all right. it, it just so, depends on the day and when, when, how much I'm paying yeah. attention, right? So. Yeah, so um, so this one comes from Dat Park Place. So shout out to Dat Park Place. So um, this is, they have a uh, they have a website on right. It says Sweet Baby Inc. employee begs followers to report Steam curator that tracks Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement in video games. So I actually did bring it um did bring it up. I believe some of the stuff were removed. So that's the article right over here. And uh, last time I saw it, they had ten thousand follow followers. Now they have seven sixty seven thousand followers. Yeah, which is insane, right? So, um, so I believe last time I, ch I checked, Mortal Kombat One was in here, but like it's not here anymore. But yeah, these are all the games that they are a part of, and um, this these are all the ones that are on PC. They're not even talking about the ones that are on console. So Man, they're, they're involved there, with Dark Alliance as well. I kind of saw that one. Scrolling. Let's see. By. It was the uh, the Dungeons and yeah, Dragons right game. Yeah, yeah, Dark Alliance. Sweet Baby Inc. involved proof here. Moby Games. And just the credits, yeah. So they actually provide actual, like, like uh, actual uh, what's it called again? Uh, yeah, accreditation right over here shows you mm -hmm. where they found it and uh, deciding their sources. And um, if you actually go to their website, um, right over here, uh, it's uh, yeah, let's go down and see what they worked on. So Alan Wake Two, God of War Ragnarok, a Battle Shapers, Breeze in the Clouds. Uh, we went to this website before, but like it's been updated since then. Mm, and as you scroll too. down, these are all their clients. Now, um, uh, they they are a part of Square Enix, and uh, that's the game I'm playing right now. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm not sure if they're a part of it. However, they were a part of that studio that closed down. That's a part of uh, uh, Square before that did uh, Forspoken. <laughs> so that was a really really awful game. So going back to the article. It says, Sweet Baby Inc. employee Chris Kindred begged for followers to mass report not only a Steam curator, but the creator of said curator because it tracks video games that Sweet Baby Inc. is involved in. Now, I don't know about you, but if you are proud of your company and your company is doing the right thing, don't mm -hmm. you want it to be, you know, out there yeah. and people are talking about it? Why are you, yeah. Why are you trying to ban it and hide it? It's like this. Was it was that effect called again? Oh, the Streisand effect. Streisand huh? effect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, the answer is simple. Um, they know what they're doing is wrong, right? Yes. Uh, they know that the the more eyes that are brought to them and are on them, the more people are more likely to push back, right? Uh, it, it, it's you know that that that's the big thing. Um, the the best way of, of putting putting it is. Anita Sarkeesian kind of founded what was going on. I'm going to say Sweet Baby Inc. perfected it. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, because she Baby really Inc. did She really did not have as much of a profound impact on the industry as she would like to think. Um, yeah. But I would say that Sweet Baby Inc., she, she definitely paved the way for them and their success that they're having. And, 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 and again, it's like with any industry, a lot of the reason why these corporations get woke is that you know, the people that we were complaining about back in 2015, 2016 had graduated from college and made their way into the workforce. So they're bringing that woke ideology with them, specifically the people that get into the into the HR departments and therefore are responsible for hiring is the big thing. So this is why we get companies like Sweet Baby Inc. Um, when were they founded? I'm curious. 2018. 2018. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. So they've been around yeah, roughly six years. I feel like in two, I think that's when. Um, <clears throat> okay, I, 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 I'm not sure if this is just a conspiracy theory, but I think that I think a lot of the shit, a lot of things that's happening right now has gone to shit is because uh, ever since uh, uh, Harambe got killed. <laughs> yeah. but, but I think every, Harambe uh, uh, was a uh, large hydrine collider conspiracy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and um, I, I, just, I think um, the height of the TDS got to the, a lot of these people, and they're like, you know what, we got to take back the video games and stuff, and the whole GamerGate thing is just ridiculous hearing about um oh you should you know you know our the company that i work for like they have this thing called like women in video games and stuff like that women in games and they all were able to get like a completely all expenses paid trip to go to i think um 
I think it might have been Ukraine at that time. And uh and, and they were able to go to some some kind of like g girl gamers like festival or something like that. And it was like like what about men in gaming? <laughs> you know, like no, you can't say that. You can't no. say that. But um let's continue. Let's see, if you are unfamiliar with Sweet Baby Inc., the company's uh, stated goal on their website is to quote to tell better, more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry. We aim to Make games more engaging, more fun, more meaningful, and more inclusive. <laughs> well, cultural enrichment is their new buzzword, right? It, it's it's a it's the weapon weaponization of of culture at this point. Um, by enriching culture, you have a different ethnic group. Um, the, the the a really good way of it, uh, of describing cultural enrichment is what we're seeing in London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... It's pretty bad, man. It's like, like let's see. The Steam curator currently has twenty thousand followers. So this is this is the article when it was written. Uh, tracks the games of Sweet Baby Inc. and is involved, and it does not recommend them to followers. There are currently eighteen games listed. Now it's only fifteen. Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, Starfields, Forspoken, Saints Row, Marvel, uh, Marvel Spider Man's, uh, Miles Morales, Combat, uh, Mortal Kombat One, Gotham Knights, South of Midnight, uh, Kingdom Eighties, Shadow Gambit, The Curse, The Cursed Crew. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, a Dark Alliance, Hyper Lightbreaker, Goodbye Volcano High, Usual June, Sable, and Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. And all of these games, I would say Miles Morales um, did pretty well, and uh, Starfield sucked, and we know that, and Mortal Kombat 1, I think, did okay. But the one thing on there which I, I don't get is uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Dark Alliance. Now, I, I did play the game. I actually played it with my wife. It's a multiplayer game. It's not mm -hmm. bad. It's all right. It's, it's nothing really to write home about. But that game was already diverse. I mean, based off of, of the characters that they're drawing from, which is, you know, Drizzt Warden, uh, Caddy Bree, uh, Bruner the Dwarf, and, and um, I don't want to say Wolfgar. I think, yeah, it is Wolfgar. Um, you know, it, it, you have a black elf. You have, you know, a female human raised by a dwarf. Uh, you have Wolfgar, who is somewhat also raised by Bruner as well. And, I mean, it, it's, it's a great cast of characters. Uh, it, it really doesn't need to be diversified any more than it already was. Yeah, I, I think when, like even though when you have games that are like, yeah, it's, you have a pretty diverse cast, mm -hmm. but um, the, what they want is more like um, inclusion of whatever ideology or dogma that yeah. these people believe in. It's yep. like, oh, there isn't enough, you know. Like, like most recently, um, I'm not sure if you saw the, the pride stairs, right? Like several years ago, there was these pride stairs that are painted, and mm -hmm. then the guy took the big, the big steps on the left side. And then most recently, they painted that one too. So what he did, <laughs> he grabbed, he, I'm not sure you saw the video where he basically grabbed the rails and started like climbing up the rails <laughs> just by, <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I might bring that, I, I, let, let me see if I can find it because that was, that was insanely hilarious when I saw that. Uh, but uh, it's, um, it's, it's just like everything has to be in inclusive now. And um, it's just, and, and if it's not, it's like, oh, why are you trying to not include, um, why are why are you not trying to be because not everybody why? needs to be included you know that, that that's the thing um this is one thing i i talk about with um a lot of entertainment and i i'm trying to remember if i was talking about black panther like you know it being an unapologetically black movie there's nothing wrong with that right mm -hmm. um with, with any group of people there's nothing wrong with it but the, the one thing you, you you can't say it's it's not okay to be unapologetically white right you got to have diversity in it it's like, why do we have to have diversity and everything? If we're talking about a country that is predominantly African, the majority of the cast should be African. And it really kind of depends on where these things take place because some areas are going to be more diverse than others. You go to Portland, mm -hmm. Oregon, like 99% of the people there are white. Okay. Yeah. That's just how it is. You go to New York, New York is a pretty diverse city. Um, San Antonio, Texas, pretty diverse city as well. I mean, and, and I, I talk about a lot of the stuff when it comes to like, you know, comic shops and whatnot, you know, the comic shop is as diverse as the area of town that it's at. Right. Mm -hmm. My shop I go to, uh, Gary talks about it. Uh, here's some fantasies. Um, predominantly you're going to see in there white and Hispanic people. Why? Because that's the majority of the people that comprise the city. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, black people on occasion, you know, there's women in there as well, but the majority of his dudes prim primarily white and Hispanic. Yeah. And and the thing is that like why do why do these video game companies need to make games that are not cater to your fan base? It's like, oh, you know what? Um we want to make sure that this game is more inclusive, so we're gonna introduce uh more Chinese people, for example. Yeah. But mm -hmm. your 
demographic and your audience are not Chinese people at all. Like, why yeah. do you have to, what are you doing here? And it's, I, I feel like they're, the reason why they're doing it is because they want to seem like inclusive, but they're doing it in all the wrong facets. And it's, it's like people, people see it. People see well, all. Yeah, go ahead. A lot, of these, a lot of these people that don't understand multiculturalism, you know, and, and, and that's the funny thing about it. I, I, I pointed this out several times myself, um, like with rings of power, it's like, why do you have like two black people? Okay. Cause within three to four generations, they're white. Okay. Their genetics are going to be, um, massively drifted. <laughs> the best way of putting it. <laughs> um, it, it's true, right? Cause the, their, their genetics are going to be diluted over time. And it, the reason why areas like within our world are diverse are typically like port cities where you have an influx of people going in and out. If you have an area like in the middle of, I don't know, whatever, um, wh wherever you're up and you put like a, a black family there, like I said, within three generations, they're all white. And and that is just the reality. Okay. With, with any, with any group. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it's, you know, pe people do move around, but eventually their genes are just going to get absorbed by another group of people. They found uh, redhead Europeans on the steps of, of China. Um, not really sure. You know, they, they obviously came there, died, whatever, but ultimately their genes that they passed on got diluted by the native Chinese that were there. It, it happens mm -hmm. to all groups of people. And that, that is the primary thing that they don't get understand when they, they try to make things diverse. Why do you have diverse Harfoots? It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> unless you have a, unless you have an influx of people that come in and out. And that's mm -hmm. the big thing that they don't understand. Diversity only works when you have a large enough population or you have people coming in and going. If, if, if it's landlocked, those genes are just going to, you know, ultimately disappear. Yeah. So uh, let's just continue reading. Let me see. In response to the Steam, uh, the Steam curator, Chris Ki uh, Kindred, a narrative designer and writer at Sweet BB, and called for the followers to mass report the curator as well as the creator. Uh, Kindred wrote on X, the Steam curator harassment group Sweet Baby Inc. detected is led by this person, Cabrutus Rambo. So I believe um, Asmund go call this guy <laughs> uh, Krampus Rambo. <laughs> Krampus <laughs> Rambo. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, here's them trying to be slick so they don't get uh, they don't get reported, even with the discriminatory language uh, filed off. The group itself still fails the code of conduct. And here's a screenshot. It's really tiny. And uh, as she then stated, anyway, report the fuck out of this group. Uh, she added, report the curator since he loves his account so much. Oh, it's like a call to action. To isn't this like against <clears throat> yeah, TOS? Call to action. Well, like, it, it depends. I, I I don't know what the what the TOS states. I mean, as long as it's not called of, to violence. I mean, I don't yeah. Know. See, um, along with Kindred's post, another Sweet Baby Inc. employee, Lego Butts, shared a disdain for the curator writing. For example, uh, Steam doesn't have guidelines for curators, as far as I can tell. That would prevent someone from starting a curation group that focuses on, say, Sweet Baby Inc. and warns people not to buy the games they're associated with, which could just uh, list any game at all. So this another person who was extremely upset about this. See, the post came immediately after Lego Butts accused individuals of creating and participating in the curator of being racist uh lego butts says um sorry yeah. no one yeah sorry no one thing has changed the number of people who understand and that spreading in mis I'm sorry misinformation just lets them be racist in public with no uh, consequence has increased dramatically uh that has changed probably requires some fighting from those with authority probably so i think these people are like, like, what, what, are, what are all the words that people are saying? You know, you're racist, you're bigoted, you're misogyny, you're misogynist, and then um, words that don't mean the, anything anymore for yeah, you know, hundred dollars, Alex. Yeah, yeah, and and then um, and then the most recent one is like rate this, right? That that that's like the, the the next thing they they want to use, but it's like that doesn't make any sense at all either. Well, they they can't. Well, I mean, they they can. <laughs> they'll they'll find a way of doing it. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, he wrote another sweet baby ink cancel. So this is Grums, um. On, uh, on X says, uh, another sweet baby in cancel pig that is upset about pe people pointing out they worked on the game on Steam. If you yep. feel the work is good, stand by your beliefs, but you know it's not so uh, you try to suppress the truth. Why are you trying to cancel a group by tagging Steam and uh, and take away their uh, games, Felix? So, yeah, this is pretty 
This is pretty well, crazy. Well, it, it's it's the same thing with like Libs of TikTok, right? You know, why are they yes. going after Libs of TikTok? All, all she's doing is just reposting things that are already on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> unless they realize that it's bad. Right. And that's what this mm -hmm. is. They, they know what they're doing is going to piss people off. Uh, they are actively trying to change gaming culture uh, against what gamers want and any kind of exposure, any, any type of shining the line onto it. Basically at this point, what they are is that they are scattering cockroaches because someone turned the light on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, Oh shit. Like they know. <laughs> Got to yeah, get exactly. out of here. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see. By the way, this account Lego Butts is the biggest of the cancel pig, with Zoe Quinn's PR person and and tried and failed to cancel me many times. I'm, I'm not surprised. They ended up at Sweet Baby Inc. Lego Butts sat on Twitter for months and worked to get a lot of people banned from Twitter or their jobs. And it makes sense. Um, a lot of these people just wants them to get canceled. And the mm -hmm. thing is that like, what happens um, if you get canceled or get fired off of Twitter? Oh, <laughs> didn't Elon Musk say that he'll back your, uh, you know, like if you have an actual case, he'll back, he'll, he'll pay for your service, uh, that was legal legal fees or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like I, I think a lot of people are just like trying to cancel for for nothing. You know, take take, take a good look at um what's happening. Oh, it, it's Toronto, about control, right? right? This this is the whole point mm -hmm. of cancel culture is that it, it it's forced compliance. They they want people to be afraid and not speak out and be silent. And the way you do that is by destroying somebody's career. You know, oh, you said this thing on Twitter I don't like. I mean, uh, that umbrella guy is a good example of this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they had people from Twitter, not Twitter per se, but people on Twitter find out who he was, doxed him, tried to get him fired from his job and destroy his livelihood. Because the thing is like, if you can't eat, most people will cave, right? I mean, it's just mm -hmm. the reality. And these are the tactics that are very much used by Marxists. You know, just just remember, this is not hyperbole. But if these people could get away with it, they want you to die. Mm -hmm. Yep they they they. It's just like 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 take a look at um, like we we talk about her a lot. Like um, J.K. Rowling, mm -hmm. completely on their side, believes in almost everything besides one percent of things. And now like they want her to you know to get they want to get rid of her try, trying to like. But she has so much money, like she doesn't care. She but has like, a few money. Yeah. Like, 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 let's say if it's a person like me, and um, let, let's say if like someone online is like, oh, we, you know, th th this this Chinaman has been saying a bunch of stuff that we don't like. It's it's, it's the ruin his livelihood. Yeah. Right. And it's just, and the thing is that like, if you have a family, you have a kids, you have you know other responsibilities. It's like, are you gonna bend the you know are you gonna bend the knee? Like for me, I'm I'm one of those people who um I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees, kind of person. Yeah. And um, it's well. It's, there's a there's a lot of things that people need to be aware of. And it's the reason why I always direct people to reclaim the net when it comes to misinformation. There's several things that are being pushed right now. Yeah, central um, digital back currency or digital bank digital currency. That's uh, CBDC. I can't remember the, what it stands for. Centralized mm -hmm. digital back currency or bank currency. Um, the idea is that when the government is able to control your bank account. It's another way of control, right? Um, it's, it's the same thing with the misinformation stuff. An informed populace makes better decisions when they go vote. It's the reason why they're trying to suppress everything. The reason why they're trying to label everything misinformation. It's the reason why they basically had the department, uh, the Ministry of Truth, you know, for the most part, <laughs> that we thankfully were able to shut down. It's still there. You know, just mm -hmm. Nina Jankowitz is not in charge of it. I mean, it, it, it's there are such pushes for this stuff. Look at what's going on in Canada right now where they are trying to jail people. They have a law that they're trying to pass that will, people will go to prison for hate speech. Yeah. I was like, life. You, you'll be considered like a, a yes for life. Right. That's insane. Yes. So if you're like, because you, of mean words, like isn't misgendering something in like misgendering a person in Canada considered hate speech. Yes. That's absolutely retarded, man. Yeah. Like and now they crap. want to jail people for it. it you, you see it in the UK as well. There's all these different things that are going on all over the world. And it's the reason why people need to be aware of it. When you're aware of something, you can fight against it. It's, it's the reason why they try and suppress all this information. Um, it, it is very concerning. And it's the reason why they, they want to push the um, digital currency. Because if you misbehave, they can take your money away. And it's yep. absolutely frightening. Yeah, like Arjun Sable said, like the Trudeau shut down the bank accounts. Like, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the GoFundMe's for the truckers and stuff like that. Yeah, that, yeah, that 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 that's insane. Let's see. Um, but yeah, it's um, 
th 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 basically this is what's happening online right now and then and i think um the rise of um sweet baby ink videos on youtube has gone up like dramatically now yeah. i do want to show that stairs thing that I, talked about. <laughs> I did find it so uh Sweet. this is it man oh avoids God. gay stairs oh, christ <laughs> why did he why did he just walk up the other area you know to the yeah, right yeah like yeah why did he just, just do that hop so up much there, walk up <laughs> i think this is a lot funnier <laughs> personally <laughs> This is insane, man. He's like, because um, I think um, people started using the left and then like, y'all, haha, you know what? We're going to paint this area. The other side, he could just walk up. He literally just grinded his his crotch along the rails. Now everyone has to touch it if they need to. That's just, that's just hilarious. I mean, I, I don't blame him. Yeah, but this is the, the fact that they're doing the this is absurd. Did you, you know how they're, they're painting crosswalks like that? And you see like people doing donuts and shit. They're all getting all mad and they're trying to arrest them for hate speech for doing freaking donuts on stupid pride flag. Don't put it in the middle of the fucking street, man. Yeah. Like, wasn't there, yeah, wasn't there a kid recently? Like he was they were trying to charge him as a felon, like, like, like yeah. giving him a felony charge or something. Yeah. Oh my, like I, 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 what state is that? Is that, it's like, I, um, I like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's, it, it is crazy. And the thing is that I'm not sure if this is true. This is from Endymion and, uh, it says right, right over here, sweet BBE confirmed to be attached to Xbox fable reboot. And this is on oh, IMDB. Not surprised. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I like man, Endymion. But, he has, he has a good channel. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Shout out to Endymion. But yeah, like, <laughs> like for me, when I saw this face, I'm like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure sweet, sweet baby ink is in charge of this. <laughs> That's a dude. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.